What's up everyone, Aaron Schatz here, back again with another edition of Tech Talk with Aaron, Smart Home Edition. We are talking about three-way switches in this edition. Not only this, but this, and this, and this. I've got a way, I think, it should work, to turn these regular old switches, two of these, into a capable three-way smart switched system. You may be asking yourself, how? And no, I'm not talking about running more wires. I'm talking about using the existing wiring that's already there, and you're asking yourself, how are you going to do that? You already told me that you can't set one of these things up in a three-way without running additional wires. You're right, but what I didn't remember is that you can automate stuff. So if I put one of these in this box and one of these in this box and did some fancy wiring with the existing wiring, this should, keyword should, just work fine. The gist is basically you need to put the neutral and hot into both of these. So I'm not going to be running a three-way switch between them. I'm going to be putting a ZB Mini in this one and a ZB Mini in this one. But the difference is this one, the first one, is actually not going to be connected at all to a relay. So meaning when you actually flip the switch, it's going to control the second one here. And the second one will actually be wired to the switch and the circuit to the light. See where I'm going with this? This will become more apparent with a wiring diagram. And uh, I hope I'm putting it somewhere on the screen right now. So if you see, this is very analogous to what I have right here. So I have the main power, the mains power going into here. And that's these two cap lines right here. Let me just make sure this thing's off. It is off. So you have these two capped lines right here. And then it goes through a three-way switch and then back down to the load itself. These, this uh, black line, this red line, and this neutral line, the white line, all run to this box right here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the, the neutral and the black and actually just directly hook them up to the to the line and the neutral coming from the mains and we're going to pump it down to here. Before we do that, we're going to take one of these ZB minis, I'll show you. Take one of these ZB minis and we're going to actually plug in the neutral and the line and we're going to plug in the switch to the actual switch here. So this is going to be running powered and it's going to have the switch on it, but when you touch this switch, it's not going to do anything yet. We're going to get to that. We've got this and this. It's not doing anything. It's just powered and it can accept commands, right? It can accept the switch command itself. All right. So you got that. So that's one. Now we've got actual power running to this box directly, not a three-way. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hook this up to the, to the line. And now we're going to hook this up to the load. So now this, the actual light is going to connect to the load and we're going to put the neutral in here. And then we're going to put this switch onto this relay. So basically what's going to happen is when I turn this switch off or on, it will actually directly control the light from the other Sonoff. You still with me? All right, let's keep going. Now you're asking yourself, well, okay, that's great. But the problem is that if I touch this one, nothing happens. This is where home automation actually comes in. And remember, this is what Zigbee's all about. So how would you do this if you just had something that allowed you to actually hit receive an event? You would do this in your home automation software, which I'm going to do in Hubitat. So I'm going to wire this all up and fingers crossed that this all works. So let's give it a shot. Like magic, it's been completed and it works. And here we go. This one. So by the way, real quick. These are the three-way switches I was using, right? These are not. These are just regular single pole switches. So you, can, you don't even have to use these three-way switches at all. All this is done via automation and one actual switch. This is controlled directly by this switch with this relay. Absolutely no problem right there. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Absolutely no problem. This thing we know works. So that's that. How about here? Let's see what happens. Notice the delay. Slight delay. 
but it works. Right? Good to go. Turn this off. Turn this on. Turn this one off. And it's a three-way switch. And that's it, really. It actually does work. You just need two of these ZB Minis from Sonoff and two single pull switches. And I'll explain how to wire it. Let's turn this off. Now, how this is wired, so I, I left this all open so you could see this. And actually, let me kill the power uh, so I don't kill myself. All right, so power's killed. Now, what we have here is main power is coming into this box here. And then it goes into this to power this. But the actual load portion is not hooked up. So it goes into this, and then the two switch go into this switch. So switch one, switch two, go into the ends of this. So now you have this switch that controls the actual relay in here, but the relay is not actually doing anything. It's not actually hooked up to a, a load. These, the actual neutral and the hot are bridged directly to the neutral and hot on this existing three-way. You could see that I capped the red wire in that three-way because you don't need it anymore. And you basically do the same thing in this one. The difference is the actual load, you go to the actual light now. So this load is directly hooked up to this light. Neutrals are all connected and that's not, that hasn't changed. This switch is on this S1 and S2 over here. So this switch directly controls this relay. This relay directly controls this light when it's on and off. That's how this is actually wired. If you're an electrician, you're asking yourself, well, this doesn't work because when I actually turn this off, this doesn't do anything. And this is where home automation comes in. Remember, this is Zigbee. Why don't we use that to our advantage? Basically what I've done in Hubitat is I've said that this is a, a secondary switch or a slave switch or whatever you want to call it. And this is the master switch. The only thing you have to really care about is if the state of this thing changes. The rule that I installed was if this switch changes state, toggle this one. That's it. In Rule Machine, it was really easy to set up. You say, when this thing changes, toggle this one. That's all that's needed to be done to make this whole thing work. There are no extra wires. This is using the existing setup that I already had. This, again, is analogous to my house where the power goes into one box, goes into the other box via a three-way wire, and then back to a two-way wire back into this bulb right here. And this is what I'm going to do in my house. And now, since I have these two, I'm going to wire one of my three-way circuits with it and do this slight automation as well. So while electrically it's not a three-way switch, in actuality you're forcing it to be due to automation. But that's the power of Zigbee. That's the power of home automation itself. Even I have said that you need to pull wires if you want to make this work in a three-way switch. And that's true. It has not changed. If you want one Sonoff ZB Mini to work with these two three-way switches, you need to pull wires between them. There's, there's no getting around that. If you have some ingenuity, you can actually add another one and create the facade of a three-way switch. Electrically, it's not. It is absolutely not a three-way switch. So if I were to pull these out and rewire them, I have to replace these with the actual three-way switches and yada yada, all that stuff. That's not what we're doing here. We are using the power of home automation to make our lives easier. And that's what we've basically done. Two devices here, and it works exactly how we want it to do. That's it. I would love to have your feedback. I'm sure a lot of you already did this. I just, like, the amount of posts I saw online about wiring three-way switches and all this stuff, and it's like, they're just like, like oh, I'm sure I could use two devices. And it's not that obvious when you're thinking about it purely electrical. Using a rule in home automation to do this just makes absolute sense because that's the power of this. I would love to hear if you actually did this yourself. What were your trials? What were your tribulations? How is the delay? How is this working? Are you using these devices or different? That's what I'm curious. Please post some feedback. Love to hear from you. Please hit that subscribe button. We've got more stuff coming. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.